down in Brighton. It's uh, not a day off, we're on tour, but we've got a bit of time. It's a sunny day, it's really lovely. Me and Ardino. <laughs> That's, it's a sale. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're out of the band. <laughs> and we're just going to nip into Snoopers Paradise here. And the uh, turnstile entrance. Okay. We're a bit too old for toys, Dean. Are we? Yeah, I think. A little bit. Borderline. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Oh, no, 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 we're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got Dwayne Eddy, you see. And we all work with Dwayne, because we all wrote songs and produced an album for Dwayne. And uh, <laughs> we love him. I've got this album, though, so this is not a sale, unfortunately. So I've got all your records, Dwayne. Coming home is absolutely monster. Well, it's so very hard to have to leave the one you love, and you get more on some of each passing day. You got some cash, Bill? I got. That's what I said. That's my having a vintage, vintage photo movie. You have to use a card. There we go. See exactly what we've got here. Oh, fucking brilliant! Can <laughs> <laughs> you suck his side of Ed? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> oh, fucking mega. Silly, silly old man. <laughs> you ever come now? You ever come now? You ever come now? Now? You ever come now? now? You ever come now, now? You ever come now? Uh, uh. What's up, Liz? Well, it's quite nice. a <laughs> No sale. <laughs> we were on about a record player, you see, and I found one. It's slightly over our budget, you see. We're done. It fits me perfectly, doesn't it? It fits me better. You want to try it out? It's yeah. too big for you. How much is that? 40 quid. 40 quid. Oh, How much have we got left? We've got half a good left. The drummer wins. Go, is that all right? Good job. Yeah, the drummer yeah. wins. Right, it's all good. Okay. Well, they don't the bottle. Calls, but I that I want. He spent all the money on a fucking coal. And they fascinate me ships in a bottle, you know. It was something that sailors used to spend a lot of time doing. But how, how do they do it? How do they get the ship in a bottle where the actual aperture, the entrance of that, you know what I mean? That's it. Yeah, You've we got can any pay, cash on you? We can pay cash, yeah. yeah. we can do it for £13.50. Look at case. that. How about that? Perfect. Brilliant. It's yours. Thank you very Thank much. You. Cheers. <laughs> Relatively pleasant afternoon on tour um, in a place called Snoopers Paradise in Brighton, which actually was fucking bad. And um, we didn't have very long, and we only had a small-ish budget. Well, I mean, when I was a kid, 100 quid was a fucking shitload of money, you know what I mean? But uh, I got a Ray Charles album, because he's the master, and it's got a song on it called I'm Just a Lonely Boy. I can relate to that. And um, Fats Domino, who was uh, R&B artist from um, New Orleans, who's probably my favourite singer of all time. I actually know what's on that record because it's got Valley of Tears on it, which is a song I do a lot, and it's beautiful. And um, we got Dwayne. This is a second-hand place, so there's not exactly like, you know, banging hip-hop up to the day kind of modern sort of tunes and what have you, so it's, it's all vintage stuff. But we got uh, Dwayne Eddy, Twisting and a Twanging, and because uh, we work with Dwayne, and I think I said it earlier, we love you, Dwayne, you know. And uh, of course, um, the master, um, something for everybody. I think this is the second album that he did when he got out of the army. And it's got, I slipped, I stumbled, I fell, and I'm coming home, which is, it's worth the entrance fee just for those two tunes, you know. So there's the vinyl sorted. And uh, we've got a couple of bits. Oh, Billy, it's like a bag of chips, you know what I mean? 
This is a very misty and very old ship in a bottle. You can see the shape and that. I quite like that shape. It's really good. And how sailors used to make these uh, was they used to get a bit of string and they'd put it in with the sails flattened. So they'd shove it through the, the bottle opening flat and it'd all be on a bit of string. And it's like ingenious how they get the sails to stand up inside the bottle. I've always been fascinated by ships in a bottle since I was a little kid. And uh, yeah, and it was 15 quid and the nice lady let us have it for £13.50, which is, uh, you know, saved me £1.50. And I guess this is the last, but possibly the best thing out of it all, really, because it says everything that you need to know. And it's true-ish. You know, when we're ruled by hideous people that control our fate, hmm, maybe this is not entirely true, but a part of your fate is in your hands. But if it was me that designed that, I'd just have it like that. Yeah, and that's our day. There's some chips in that, right? <laughs>